What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 7 to the Sky. Oh yeah, so I am wearing a turtle hat on my head now. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh this gives me 15% total speed, so we got 15, 21, 31, and 13. Lots of speed. Lots of speed. So we just zoom and if I hold the bow, we go even zoomier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I've been uh, having fun looking at the mob drops, trying to make sure that our mob farm isn't overflowing over here. Yeah, and it is not an easy task. I have to keep throwing away things that I don't want to throw away. Uh, we're getting a lot of this stuff. Is this any good? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we are getting a lot of non-stackable things. We are now getting items in here that I do want to keep that we're going to have to throw away. Uh, redstone is something that I definitely need a drawer for, and I don't have that yet. So, like, all of this stuff, yeah, this all needs to get tossed. Um, so, yeah, today we are going to be working on a few different things. Namely, we're going to try and get ourselves the ability to uh, make the void upgrades, which means we need to make a whole lot of lava, turn the lava into obsidian, and then start crafting the void upgrades. Yep, that is the biggest thing that we need to do. Uh, so let's put all that stuff away. Uh, so in order to make the void upgrades, yeah, we need the obsidian and then we need the drawer in order to make one of these and we need one of these void upgrades for every single one of our drawers over there, which is uh, quite a bit of them. So like, I, I, what is that, 27? Or I'm sorry, is that uh, 21? I don't know, something like that. We have a bit of them over there. Anyway, so uh, in order to do this, we need to make lava faster and we saw that the superheating element can be used as a 60x multiplier for producing lava currently our uh, fire crucible is going at 4x so this will be a significant increase in the amount of lava that we are producing so in order to make the super heating element we need a steel casing and the steel casing requires four steel osmium and uh four glass so we have two steel we're gonna have to make more of that oh no wait 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 we have two different types of steel so there's that I don't see any glass in here. Let's just go ahead and get some glass cooking up. Looks like we already had two in there. We just need a piece of coal to continue that smelting. Wait, charcoal right here. Sorry for uh, going back and forth through those chests. <laughs> All right, so we have that. Uh, what was the other piece that we needed? Osmium, steel, and then the four glass. Oh, I don't have the osmium. That's what it is. Osmium is right there. Okay, so we just need two pieces of glass, and we should be able to make that. And then uh, the superheating element does require four redstone and four copper. So I do have some copper here. Let me grab this glass. And I know we got some redstone back over here. So let's go grab that. This must be from witches. In fact, I'll just grab it all. All right. So we need to make the steel casing a like so, and then we need to make the superheating element a like so. Okay, so we have those done. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Void upgrades. So, do we leave this here or do we move this? I feel like it's time to move. Hey, hey, rude. I feel like it's time to move this. So let's move this. No tool. So does that mean I can just punch it? Okay. Well, that works. And this thing turned into some charcoal. All right, so let's move this right here, I guess. So superheating element plus the uh, crucible. So there we go, 60 heat. That's awesome. So if we put cobble in there, that means we should be getting uh, 60 millibuckets per tick, I think is how that works. Or is it 60 millibuckets per second? It seems like that's per second, not per tick. So, I mean, that chewed through that one piece of cobble real fast. So we'll be making buckets of lava relatively quickly. So that's awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is we need a constant supply of cobblestone being put into this thing to constantly make the lava. So let's do a thing. We'll grab this and we'll grab this. And we will set these over here in preparation. So we'll put the cobble gen and this guy, mm -hmm. and then we just need a pipe directly over. So we need one of these pipes and I have the wrench on me, which is great. So that'll go here and we do one of those. And now we have constant lava being produced, which is awesome. Uh, the next thing we need to do is take that lava and start turning it into obsidian so we can move this guy that we set up previously. 
like so. And this will sit here. Is that what we want to do? I guess that's going to be fine. So we'll do one of these, one of those, one of those, and then I need to get myself some kind of a liquid pipe. Um, I don't think we've made one. So the fluid pipe, this guy. So I need two buckets and some iron and a piece of redstone. Uh, that, and I have two buckets. Yep. All right. So we should be able to make that. That's the item pipe. This is the fluid pipe. There we go. There's the blue ones. Right. So we do this. Oh, wait. That's fine. We'll, we'll do this. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't seem to work. <laughs> uh, all right. And then we'll put the water here and we'll do one of those and the lava should be going in and we have obsidian. Awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to extract from this and put it into some kind of a drawer. Uh, do I have an extra drawer? I do. Oak drawer. And that'll go like a so. With, oh, I don't have the yellow pipes on me. I thought I did. Yellow pipes. All right. So these will go here and we wrench that and we are auto extracting. We've made one, two, three obsidian. Four, keep going. Five, awesome. Yeah, so we're making this like decently fast, I guess, but it's gonna slow down. That was just because we had extra, extra lava in there. So the next thing that we need to do at this point is expand. That means more superheating elements, more fired crucibles, and then adding some pipes all to go into the same setup here. Yeah, so if we expand this portion out, I don't know, maybe five times, we should be able to make lava very, very quickly. All right, well, I have made two more of these so far, so we'll do that and that, and, oh, I don't have the wrench on me. I was cleaning up my inventory and I put things away. There we go, there's the wrench. So now we should be able to, can I jump up on this? Uh, no. uh, there's that one and this one. Okay, so we are extracting out of those, and of course we need to insert the uh, cobblestone, like a soul. So now we should be making lava quite quickly, I would imagine. Yeah, look at that. It's filling up pretty quickly. Uh-huh. We can still go faster. Uh, it's just going to require a bit more resources and things like that, but I think I'm up for the challenge. So uh, that's with three. Let's try and add two more, I think. All right, there we go. There is the speed in which we are making obsidian with five of these going. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty good to me. I like it. Uh, we currently have 90 obsidian, so that'll get us, what, uh, 11 or so void upgrades at this point. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of that. Task completed, 10 obsidian. You know what? Speaking of tasks, I have seen that we have a few of these that we have completed. So the bounty board killing all the things. So for making the Philosopher's Stone, that's some XP and a Phantom Charm. Phantoms can't see you with this. We haven't seen Phantoms yet. I do tend to sleep like pretty much, if not every night, every other night. So it hasn't been a big deal. Uh, oh, this gives me a diamond wand for uh, making the building gadget. Okay. And then some more XP. And finally, Tinker's Construct. We have a few here. So for making those parts, which we did, some stone, XP, and this one is going to give us some steak and some XP. Okay, so is that all of the, uh, I think that's all of them. Yep, sweet. So we got a few different things. I'll just add the steak over here to our extra food uh, section. Speaking of food, my uh, my hunger bar is wiggling, isn't it? There we go. Uh yeah, because we have extra hearts with the armor that we have, every time I log into the game, it doesn't know about those extra hearts. And then it starts like refilling them so that it uses my hunger. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird how that works. But yeah, it doesn't store that we have these orange hearts for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I get hungry every time I load into the game now. Anyway, so now that we have that done, uh, we have this obsidian. We need drawers. I don't know if these are the best drawers to use, but we need drawers to do that. So there is some void upgrades. Let's go find out which one's the most important at the moment to void. Probably gunpowder and bones, I would imagine. Uh, if we look into this drawer, yeah, we have both gunpowder and bones in there. All right. Uh, I forget. Can I do that from the front? Oh, I, if you click on the border, you can get onto it. Okay. So utility. Uh-huh. And bones, this one, boop. 
All right, so that should get rid of extra stuff in here. Yep, we are losing some things and other things are getting sorted, which is great. Uh, it looks like Ron Flesh is pro Ron Flesh and Arrows is the next ones that we need to do. We got so much stuff backed up over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I need to make a whole bunch of drawers and get the rest of these void upgrades made. So let me just go ahead and do that off camera. It looks like I have to gotta farm some trees as well. Mm-hmm. So let me get to it. We'll be back. All right, so I took a bunch of our obsidian that we had over here, and yet we have 200 more. We're just going to be getting a whole lot of obsidian now. I took a whole bunch of that. We turned it into the void upgrades, and we have applied it over here. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, you can see we still got a mess of things going on, though. <laughs> it isn't quite fixed, uh, but it is better. Now we are left with a problem where we have non-stackable items clogging up. And this is the next thing that we're going to have to tackle here, is to getting rid of these non-stackable items automatically. Yep. So in order to do that, we saw before that we wanted to use the armory, I think is what it was called. And in order to get that, we need to get ourselves one piece of netherite. Yep. So netherite is kind of the thing that's on my radar that I want to get. If we take a look at this one more time. Netherite. Uh, is that what it's called? No, ancient. Ancient debris turns into, yeah, netherite scrap. I guess I must have been typing that wrong. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so in order to get this stuff. We can sift for it, but we need the crushed nether rack on iron mesh, right? Uh, or crushed nether rack on diamond mesh gives us two chances. So I think diamond mesh is probably where we want to go. And then the nether rack, obviously, is what we really, really want. So um, a few different things that we need to do here. I feel like getting the diamond meshes might be the best thing, but... But before we just go and upgrade this uh, 5x5 thing to all diamond meshes, which I kind of just want to do in Brute Forces, I feel like we should take a look at our quest here. This is the Getting Started Part 2 section. And the uh, next column up here, the next quest, is more power, right? So we're going to be making a magmatic dynamo. And this one leads over into the Flux Sieve. So these are the custom machines for this mod pack for sifting automatically. I don't know how good or bad they are, but I would like to try and get here. And it looks like there's probably some upgrades that we can put into that to make them faster. Yeah, I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. It looks like there's upgrades and uh, compactor. So this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at making the magmatic dynamo first, though. So in order to get to here, we need some invar. So that's something we haven't made yet. So invar... We can make with Invar Dust, it looks like. Otherwise, we could use the thermal expansion machines if we had them, which we don't at the moment. Uh, the induction smelter is a way to do that. But let's... Or I guess there's also the alloy kiln if we wanted to do immersive engineering. This would be another way. But we can make these dusts, and I feel like this is probably the easiest way. So we need nickel, and we need iron to make three Invar. And in total, we are going to need a two invar. I don't know how much power this makes. We might want to make multiple, but let's just start with one for the moment. Do I even have nickel? That is the next question here. We do have raw nickel here. Okay, so we do this. And, oh, we have some nickel dust. I must have done that by mistake. I think I did this when I was trying to make silver before. Um... We had a ore hammer in here somewhere. Did I put it in this drawer or this chest? I don't see it. Did I? What happened to the ore hammer that I had? It's not in here, right? I am not seeing it. I see my pipe wrench and these tools. I must have used the last durability on that when I was making our steel just a moment ago. I think it was called an iron hammer. Is it iron ore hammer? Let's just search for ore hammer. This thing is what we're looking for, an iron ore hammer. So that's two blocks of iron and three sticks. Okay, we need to get ourselves some more iron here pretty soon. If we're throwing blocks of it away. Uh, and then three sticks. Doot, doot, doot. Two iron, there's our iron ore hammer. So we take this. Plus that, there's some more nickel. 
And then we needed... Uh, I think it's eight. Eight iron. Like so. And there's our Invar dust. We have 12 of that. Getting a little more than what we need, but that's fine. So we'll just throw that in here with our Invar dust. And we'll just wait for that to smelt down. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and work on some of these other things. Oh, Invar gears. I didn't even see this. Good thing I made extra. So it is actually six Invar per recipe. All right. Well, we made 12. So we'll have enough to make two magmatic dynamos. And then we're going to need uh, two redstone flux coils. So that is four redstone. That's all the redstone we have. And two gold. I think we needed some iron nuggets in here. I don't remember how many. Uh, all right, so we have three in bar. Let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, I'm going to need more redstone. So that means I need to sift some dust, which means I need to turn this stuff into dust. So hammer. All right, so we'll just lay down some dust here. I'm sorry, some sand here. Like a soul. Do this. Do that. Hopefully we will get enough redstone where we won't have to do anything else here. Uh... Got at least, got at least four pieces. It looks like five. How much did we end up with? We have ten redstone. That's actually quite nice. All right. So now that that's done, this should be about ready. Uh, we need. Well, we have enough right now to do one of them. Give me that. Give me that. All right. So we can make one in bar gear. I think we have everything to make. One magmatic dynamo. Sweet. Quest completed. More power. All right, so I can break that. This says generates redstone flux using extremely hot fluids. Fluid dissipates into nothingness as a result of this process. Output rate throttle based on local feedback. Okay. Uh, looks like 40 RF per tick is what we get out of this. Got some augments that we can put in there. Mm-hmm. All right, and then this, oh yeah, this is gonna take a while actually to fill up. So, I think we're just gonna put this over here regardless. So this is filling up with lava. It is producing power. Seems pretty good. I like it. Uh, yeah, this will cap up and then we're gonna need a way to distribute that power somewhere. Okay, so we got part of this done at this point. So we need to make ourselves Multi-cycle injectors. Oh, what does that do? Does that make this produce more power? I'm not actually sure. I right-clicked that on there. It did something. It says 40. Efficiency 110. Oh, this increases the efficiency. Okay. So we have a little bit more efficiency there. So that is fine. So uh, the next quest was the flux sieve. And a flux hammer. This is both sounds like something that we want, yeah? Flux sieve, a flux hammer. So we need a sieve, some iron bars, some more iron, some more iron. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we are down to 17 iron. That is less than two blocks worth, and this recipe required two blocks. So I guess I need to do a little bit of hammering manually. All right, guys, so some time has passed since that last clip. Let's take a look here. So we're trying to make this flux sieve. So we need two blocks of iron, a hopper, some kind of a sieve, and then some iron bars. We should have basically everything in the inventory here that we need for that. So there's some iron bars. And there's our flux sieve. Sieving with flux. Nice. And then the flux hammer requires us to have a diamond hammer. So we'll make a diamond hammer. Uh, we need some glass panes. There's that. And there we go. The flux hammer. Break it down. We get no rewards for this. That's sad. Okay, so this is welcome to the custom auto sieve mod made specifically for this pack. These machines have no input inventory. The sieves output to the bottom and the hammers output to the front. Both auto output so you can have an entire system built without any pipes. Note, these machines will not run without space in the output inventory. Okay, so the sieve outputs to the bottom and the hammer's output to the front. It doesn't say where the input, so I assume they're going to input from the top. Um... So the flux sieve, I did end up making our second magmatic dynamo over here. 
flux hammer, flux sieve. The sieve outputs to the bottom. We need some flux pipes. Let's actually do that. Uh, or some power pipes. So pipes, we need the energy pipes. These guys, let's unbookmark those two. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. All right, so we need two blocks of redstone and some iron. We should have plenty of redstone now. I did go ahead and sift. Was it a uh, full stack of compressed sand turned into dust? So I guess that was nine stacks of dust. Uh, yeah, so we should have plenty of stuff here. All right, energy pipes. Sweet. So we want to connect these two things together first thing. And then this is going to, I don't know where we're putting this just yet. We're just going to put this somewhere. So the flex sieve outputs to the bottom, which means I want like a chest down there. Does a chest actually open with that above it? That's another question. It does. Awesome. So that is not a full block. Okay. So if I right click on this, we are gaining power. Uh, we are not getting power. I need to wrench those things, I guess. That, that. Now we are gaining power. This holds 200,000 RF. All right. Mesh. Mesh required for operation. So I need a mesh here. Should we just like put a diamond mesh in there? Do I actually have enough diamonds to make a diamond mesh? Yes, I do. I need six of those. So we'll take one of our iron mesh, turn it into a diamond mesh. There it is. Quest complete diamond mesh. All right. So if we put this into here, then we can start sifting things. So the next thing is I need something to sift. And uh, yeah, I actually have some compressed gravel right here. Perfect. So let's put this in here and just see how this works. So just do one at a time. Is it going this speed? That is really slow. Yeah, so we saw there were upgrades for this. There's the gold upgrade. So that is one gold, some glass, some cyan terracotta. Cyan terracotta, that is cyan dye, which is blue and green. So I need cactus. I don't think we have any cactus growing at the moment. Do I actually have cactus seeds somewhere? I feel like I got cactus at some point. Maybe we were talking about it. There it is, some cactus. Okay, so we have this set up over here, I guess. Let's just place the cactus here. Oh, okay, it grows up and just uh, explodes everywhere, and that's not good. So if I get rid of this, and I put this here. Okay, well that works. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to be having a lot of loss, but we don't need a lot of this stuff, right? So we're only trying to make some cyan dye. <laughs> I think we got enough. All right, let's uh, put this back the way it was just a moment ago. So we'll place that back here, sugar cane. Uh, sugar cane goes right back here. Dirt goes into here. This can go on the ground and get picked up again. And uh, you know what? Let's actually just turn this off. Okay. Uh, I had that running just because I felt like... Uh, we didn't have anything collected in here, but yeah, it looks like we're fine now. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we need to make some dye. So let's smelt down that. We need some blue dye, which is going to come from a lapis. All right. Once this is done smelting, we can turn that into a cyan. And then we got to make some cyan terracotta. So that, that. So there's some cyan dye. So cyan terracotta. Um, let's go back. I didn't bookmark this thing. This, so we need the terracotta first of all, and then we wrap it with some dye. So I did make some extra clay earlier. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. Is that enough? Oh, yeah, that's actually enough. We only need eight of those. Okay, so eight of those goes into here. We need a piece of charcoal. Smelt that down. Awesome. So we got to wait for that to go. And then uh, I need to get some glass, one more green dye, some gold. Okay, well, let me just go ahead and craft that all up. We'll be back. All right, so this has been going now for, I don't know, five or ten minutes. That doesn't seem that impressive. In fact, it hasn't even gone through an entire stack worth of stuff yet, has it? Uh, there we go. Yeah, it hasn't even gone through an entire stack. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I got all the stuff needed in order to make this gold upgrade, so let's just go ahead and make that. Do more at once. So does this make it have less ticks, or does it just do more at a time? It says do more at once, so it probably does tw two at a time now. 
Yeah, it's doing two at a time. Okay, well, I mean, that makes it literally go twice as fast, so that is pretty good, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's still kind of slow, so the next upgrade, if we look at the uses on this, oh, I have to make three of those and then add some diamonds to make a diamond upgrade. Does this say, uh, items process 163264. I don't understand what that means. Upgrade count, oh, does this mean you can stack them? Maybe you can stack these. I didn't even consider that. Uh, so if you can stack these, I would imagine you can stack these up to three. So that means with the diamond ones, we could do up to a stack per process. So that's going to use 2048 RF per tick. Uh, yeah, that's, then it's going to cut down the processing time to 80. Does one of these cut down the processing time to 80? Because right now it's uh 160, right? Uh-huh. Okay, well, uh, this looks like this could be pretty cool, but we are definitely going to have to upgrade beyond, uh, what we have here for these, uh, two little, <laughs> these two little lava generators. Mm hmm They are working, but, uh, yeah, they're going to quickly not be able to handle this. The other thing I wanted to see, though, uh, the other block that we made was this flux hammer. Let's place this here and just kind of see how this works. It says this outputs to the front. Um, it's a cool texture. I like it. Got like little spinny things in there. Uh-huh. So can I just right click a cobblestone on there? Oh no, I put it in here. So flex hammer, this works at 160. I assume the same place inventory on machine output. What does that mean? Oh, I have to actually have a chest or something here, right? Is that what that means? If I do this, place inventory on machine output. Machine is working. Okay, well, there we go. Gravel. Uh, so we'd probably want to automatically pipe gravel over into this, which we could do just by extending this pipe over, I suppose. Or we could move this closer over this way, one way or the other. Uh, actually, that might be the better way of doing this. So if I take this machine... And I just stick it literally right here. It gets the power, and then I just need to put one pipe right behind it. Okay, let's do that. That'll clean this up. So one of these. Right like so. Uh-huh, and then if I want to clean this up even further, I'll disconnect this. There we go. So we have cobblestone automatically going into this thing. We're getting power. It's outputting. Uh, we need a inventory for it to actually output into, which would probably be better at being a drawer, but for right now we're just going to use this chest. So we are automatically creating gravel out of that. Yep, this is working uh, pretty well. How are we keeping up on the uh, the power? Is everything working okay? That has nothing. This has nothing. Does that mean we're going to run out of power? Output 100%. Output 100%. The, oh, we're going to run out of power right now while this is filling up, but I think it'll keep up once these are full. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine. This guy right here uh, has a Stonebreaker pickaxe. Efficiency 5, Fortune 4, Unbreaking 5, and Mending. I want this thing. So this guy's going to hang out for a while, but I need 45 emeralds in order to do that. Mm hmm Anyway, guys... I think we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. We started into some machines. We have some lava power going. Pretty awesome. And we're making a whole bunch of obsidian. We're still working on a way to get rid of those items uh, that are coming into our mob farm. In fact, I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I might be able to solve that specifically with just the pipes mod. Uh, we saw there was an option for nearest first, so I could put... Uh, a trash can at the very end of the pipe system and which would be the furthest and then anything that doesn't go into the drawers would go into the trash can Maybe that's what we want. I don't know. Uh, that is another option But I still think getting the armory going is the way to go. But anyway, that's it for today Thank you guys for watching remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye